Hello YouTube, this is Tim Rashid. The video is a guide on how to solve the video caching issue on your iPhone or iPad. The previous issue was done on an OS X, MacBooks. Uh, however, this guide will be using Windows. Before we start, you would need two things, iPhone, iPhone Box and Putty. Both can be downloaded from the links in the description. Once you have downloaded them and installed them, First, we'll use iPhone Box to open a connection, also called a tunnel over USB with the iDevice. To do that, we will click on the quick toolbar and then USB tunnel. We see here it opened a tunnel from 22 on the iPhone to 127.0.0.1 port 22. So that's what we're going to enter on the putty and then click open. And then it will ask for the credentials, so we'll do root, and then alpine, which is the default password. And now we're in. So, first things first, we'll attempt to use uh, the creator's solution of removing this file, slash var, slash mobile, slash caches, actually sorry, slash library, slash caches, slash Cydia meta data dot cb0 and if you receive a similar error of that file not existing that's fine you can move on and next will be to remove the yellow jailbreak which will be rm space minus dot slash installed we can press tab to continue and you can remove it which will basically initiate the yellow jailbreak forcing it to reinstall Cydia. Once you're done you'll be able to reboot and then re-jailbreak using the yellow file. However if you're back to square one and you have the Cydia crashing again you'll need a more advanced solution so that's what we can explain going through Okay, so the more advanced solution first needs a package called apt-get. So we'll test it out by running apt-get update. If you get this error, that's fine. We'll have to install a few packages to accomplish that. So the files we need are on the app.sarg.com repo and we'll need the apt latest version which is 0.7.25.3-8 we'll download that and then we'll go back here this is where iFile comes in handy I'll do copy from PC downloads and then we'll do the use the APT latest version and press open so the location of this raw file system will be the iPhone here slash var slash mobile slash media apt and we have that file we will have to make sure the dpkg version first so we'll do dpkg minus minus version in my case it's a 1.18.10 normally you would want a 1.14 or above so that's good so far and we'll do dpkg minus i and then the file we just found here. Okay, so we wasn't able to install due to this Berkeley DB package, so we'll have to go get it. So we'll back, go back to Soic, find Berkeley, and here we go. But the focus here is that we need a dash iPhone OS ARM and not a, a Darwin ARM. So the latest version for that is. 4.6.21-5 iPhone download that and then copy from PC downloads and then the Berkeley iPhone one go back here and install the same way dpkg minus i slash var slash mobile slash media and then Berkeley, press I, installed. So we should be able to go back to the APT package 
I installed that. Okay, we're installed. Now we can retry that app get command. App get update. Okay, now it seems to be working. So this is the first thing just to get it off the ground where we have an apt get command working. To make things easier, the first package I, I recommend you install is app get install wget, which will help us download the files directly to the phone without needing the iPhone box. So we'll do enter. It's asking me, are you sure? That's going to install get text, open SSL, and wget. I'll say yes. Okay, wait for it to finish. Okay, we're good. So first things first, we'll make sure that the Cydia package is installed using this command, dpkg, and then we'll grep minus i Cydia. Okay, so Cydia itself, let me expand this like that. So we see that Cydia is installed. Okay, however, if you don't have it installed, we'll need to get it from the SORIC repo as well. So we'll go back to the repo, but this time it's a little bit different. We'll look for the Cydia package, and we can take this, the 112, which is the version I have, and you can say copy, link, minimize, and then we'll do pwd, which will print working directory. So we'll add the slash var slash root, say wget space, and then paste the link, which will just download it into the current directory we have. If we do ls cydia, we have it there, and you can run the app get dpkg minus i, and then just cydia, which will reinstall cydia. Okay, if you ever get a problem with the, no, oh, this is the help fudge, my mistake then followed by the CD itself, which is mm -hmm. there we go, this one, same thing, copy link, wget, paste link, we'll download it, then we'll do dpkg minus i Cydia and then underscore one, press enter, and that's just in case you don't have Cydia already installed. You can start trying to launch Cydia. If it still crashes, we'll move on. First package that I personally found a, a problem with was the SB settings, so that's what we're going to do. We'll first check if it's installed. dpkg minus l grep minus i sb settings. Okay, it's not installed. However, in the case that it is installed, you can do up get, remove, and then the name of the package, which is sb settings. But it's not in my case. Next one is to make sure that this the sb settings directory doesn't still exist, and that's normally if you have, if you upgraded without uh, doing a fresh install, you will have old file systems and old files that are causing incompatibilities. So uh, the directory we're looking for is slash var slash mobile slash library slash sb settings slash themes. Okay, I don't have that directory, but if you did, the command to remove it is rm space minus r and then we'll do that directory. Okay. So the next package that causes a lot of issues, including boot loops, is the app sync. So we'll do apt get, remove, and then we want to remove all app sync. So it'll be app sync, asterisk, Wasn't installed in my case, but we'll move on. 
We'll also go back to our initial step where we remove the slash var slash mobile library cydia and then meta data dot cv0 just to make sure everything is up to date. Next we'll check the sources that Cydia will use and to do that we first need a package called vim vim and we'll do app get install vim wait for it to finish we'll do vim slash etsy slash app slash sources cd.list and we have to make sure that these are only the repos that we're going to use the app Soric, big boss ttd and app mod my eye okay if the list is as is, you can leave it. And however, if you changed it, we'll run app get clean app get check and app get update. And if you got no errors using those commands, you can move on. Just make sure everything is up to date and everything's compatible. We can do app get upgrade. Okay, nothing found to be upgraded. Then we'll move on to removing all files in the dpkg updates. So we'll do rm slash var slash lib slash dpkg updates asterisk. Okay, my case I didn't have any files in there, but if you did, you should clean it out. Next, we'll make sure of the firmware being installed. So we'll do dpkg minus l grep minus i firmware. And we're expecting two packages the firmware at 10.2 and firmware dash has been at 0 1. If you have those installed, great. If not, then you would have to go with the app get install firmware and firmware dash as bin okay so the bunch of file uh, packages we need to remove are these which will be included also in the description also on the link in the on the blog and we'll try running that okay found nothing to be uninstalled and this is a critical one we'll next try to get do app get install mobile substrate and save mode okay they're already installed usually it would say you cannot find the save mode package and that's you should be able to find it here on the Sark re repo save mode yep there it is last one as well as the mobile substrate here and you'll do the same way you do copy link and then do wget paste and then you can do the dpkgi to install it next we'll make sure that the core utilities is installed dpkg minus l pipe grep minus i core util okay so I have a core util dash bin which is more than fine uh, if not then we'll, we can do the app get install and then core dash bin in my case it's already installed so it's not going to do that again but it might be different for you and at this point we can reboot the device and then you should be able to launch the Yalu app and rejailbreak it and try the CD again so I hope this tutorial helps you guys out if you have any questions please leave them in the comments also don't forget to subscribe and like the video so that more people can find it and solve their issues as well Hope you have all a great day.